So are you thinking of moving to Hope Mills, North Carolina? And you have some questions like how far is it from Fort Liberty to Fort Bragg? How far is it from Fayetteville? What's it to do in Hope Mills? How are the schools in Hope Mills? How's the crime? How, how close is it to the beach? I will do a map pack tour of all of Hope Mills. How close is it to everything? All right, guys, we are in the map pack, um, Google Maps um, of Hope Mills. As you see, Hope Mills is right here. I'll zoom in a little bit. Um, Hope Mills, and you see a little bit of this is in Hope Mills too. It's kind of, this right bridge starts becoming, coming, we're in Cumberland County. Hope Mills is in Cumberland County, but um, this little part right here is not considered Hope Mills, but this is. So anyway, um, before we even go into Hope Mills, let me zoom out a little bit kind of show you where we're at. So this is Fayetteville, of course. Um, zoom all the way out. So right here, um, right here is I-95. I'll zoom in a little bit more. I-95 right here goes right up there. So you can go all the way up north, all the way to DC, all up to New York City. Um, you know, all the way up to New York City. Zoom out. Or call in Quebec. Anyway, New York City, and you can go all the way South Carolina, Georgia, right into Florida. So I-95 um, connects you with, with being on the East Coast, definitely I-95 would go, take you all the way north, take you all the way back down south, all the way to um, Key West, Florida. So we'll zoom back into the Fayetteville area. And I like living in Hope Mills. I, I live in Hope Mills. I've lived there for about seven years now. Um, lived in Fayetteville for, well, all together in Fayetteville surrounding areas, 35 years. But the last seven have been in Hope Mills. Me and wife, we love it out there. Um, no complaints at all. And um, so we zoom in, here's Hope Mills. Yeah, Hope Mills has a population of about 17,000 people. Um, it's growing, definitely. Um, we've got some parts of Hope Mills that are rural. It's called Grace Creek. I'll get into that a little later. Um, that's kind of out here, but I'll explain what, what area that is. It's kind of confusing. And then we've got, um, we're more of the south side. So and go back to 295. So what I like about Hope Mills is you could basically shoot right over to 95 and go north or south within five, six I would say the most 10 minutes if you live in Hope Mills, right to I-95 and shoot up, go shoot down, whatever you, your, your your heart desires. As we zoom into Hope Mills, I'll talk about some things that um, I like about Hope Mills. One thing is going to be Hope Mills Lake as I zoom in here. You see Hope Mills Lake right here. In the Hope Mills Lake, you can um, just do about anything you want. I'll click on this right here, there's big T's. It's a little area next to Hope Mills Lake. In Hope Mills Lake, you could, um, <clears throat> Little park there you could kayak swim uh, boat out there there's fishing out there things like that um, very nice very cool I, I love Hope Mills Lake and um, I'm within walking distance of it um, so maybe you know, half a mile maybe from Hope Mills Lake now you're looking for other entertainment we've got Millstone Movie Theater right over here right off Camden Road <clears throat> it's a 14 screen movie theater. I was just there the other day uh, watching Ghostbusters, uh, the new one. Uh, I think it was called Frozen Empire with my son. Um, so, you know, great movie theater. Um, I'm glad we have it. Some pictures of it real quickly. There's other stuff around Millstone, too. But yeah, very nice. Um, got a Cold Stone Creamery over there. You've got Rodino's Pizzeria, and I'll zoom in a little more. And there's a Mexican restaurant I like to go to, La Casena, if I'm seeing it correctly. And you've also got Putt Putt over here, which is um, great for the kids or adults. You got Putt Putt Golf. They've also got some video games over there, too. So it's not like just, um, just Putt Putt. Very cool. So that's one reason I like living in Hill Mills. You're away from the, not that Fable is totally busy, it's a medium sized city. But you're away from um, you know the hustle and bustle of, of Fayetteville, and you know Hope Mills is maybe. You know, I live off Legion Road, which is right over here. Here's Legion Road. Um, I'm maybe five minutes away from Fayetteville. Um, <clears throat> if you live off Legion Road over here, you're looking right into get into Fayetteville right over here within five minutes. 
there's the airport. That's about 12, 15 minutes away. You can go this way and hit Rayford Road and be within the Fayetteville. So you're not far from Fayetteville. We'll even, let's go ahead and type it in just so you guys can see. So if you look at it right, this is the heart of, this is downtown Fayetteville right here. So you have the heart of Fayetteville. So you're talking 16 minutes right into Fayetteville and actually it starts to come in Fayetteville right about, about here. Um, so not far at all. Um, if you're looking at, if you are working on Fort Liberty, Fort Bragg, you're looking about 30 minute drive. Um, they are building 294, actually they, the 295 is some of it is built, as you can see here's 295. And 295 is our outer loop. And I'll zoom out a little bit more. As you can see here's 295, loops around, loops around. Um, it kicks right with over here. So it makes it a whole lot easier to get around town. Um, I use 295 a lot now. And it's supposed to connect, out here is Rayford. And we'll talk about Rayford another time. I'll probably do a map tour of Rayford if you guys want to see one of that. But here's 295 and they're actually going to keep building it and it's going to go right this way and it's going to connect over here to jack britain area and see, zoom in a little bit more so like i said here's 295 and it's actually connecting right over here here's camden road and i was just out here the other day uh looking at a house for some clients and they're building 295 right through right right to here so it's going to make it a whole lot easier commute i would say it takes maybe 10 minutes off your commute so if you're looking to move the hope mills and you're worried about the commute because it's too long for you or not to your desire um hang in there uh, 295 is coming right through and i would say it's going to take off 10 12 minutes off your commute in my, in my opinion don't know for sure though so don't hold me to that but so if you look at 25 30 minutes here you're probably looking at about 15 20 minutes i would say with uh, 295 as soon as it gets built it comes right through there now this is considered fayetteville where this hair cedar is considered fayetteville but right here it starts becoming hope mills again so you've got that crossover right there <clears throat> and we are close to hope, hope mills is close to the fayetteville airport so if we type in the fayetteville airport you're looking at a 12 12 minute drive right from fayetteville so fayetteville Regional airport, um, it's not a huge airport, uh, very small. If you're looking to, um, usually if you're flying out of Fayetteville, um, you'll probably connect with um, with Charlotte usually. When I fly to Fayetteville, I check out which it, it, it connects out of Charlotte and where to where you're going to originally, or your, your original destination, wherever your primary destination is, um, to be takes, um, it, it'll take you there. Um, in Fayetteville, of course, it's not very busy, so usually I like to get to the airport at least two hours early, just in case. You never know with, with uh, you know, TSA and all that stuff with major airports. And Raleigh is about an hour and a half away. It's the capital of North Carolina, and they have um, a um, international airport. So to Charlotte, Charlotte's like three hours away, two and a half, three hours away. So I have flown out of Raleigh sometimes, and a lot of people do. I'm just giving you an example. I'm flying to New Orleans um, in about two weeks and out of out of Raleigh, and it costs us $180 per person, me and the family. And if we would have flown out of Fayetteville, it would have cost us about $300. So definitely saved a couple hundred dollars there, and you know it's worth it for the gas and for the parking. I mean, I can get parking for $7. I don't park at the airport. I always park outside the airport. About seven seven dollars a day. So it's definitely worth it. Um, but I have flown out of Fayetteville pretty cheap too. So, uh, for instance, a couple years ago, me and my son flew to New York out of Fayetteville, and it, it, I can't remember the cost, but it was definitely cheaper than Raleigh. So, you know, always check both, but nine times out of ten, it's probably going to be the Raleigh's going to be a little cheaper, and it's even worth it for the gas and all that stuff. Of course, if you don't want to drive to Raleigh because it's an hour and a half away, an hour and a half back home, that's going to be your decision, of course. Um, everyone's different. So, definitely, you know, check it out, see what's best for you. As we zoom back into Hope Mills, now Hope Mills does not have a lot, um, small little town, but it is growing. <clears throat> and if you are looking for some more, if you're looking for something like a great park, you got to check out Hope Mills Municipal Park and Hope Mills Rec Center. Um, I'll zoom in right here. And as you see, they got a skate park right there. Very cool. Not that I'm a skater, but definitely if your kids are, or if you are yourself are a skater, definitely check out the skate park. It's got two basketball, not two basketball fields, two baseball fields. It's got some basketball fields too, and a tennis court. Let me change the layout here a little bit. 
so you can see more what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we go. So you see here is um, the two baseball fields. Here's the Hope Mills Public Library. A lot of people don't go there no more. Um, everything, everything's Googled now, but if you need to head to the library, definitely there it is. Yeah, Hope Mills Fire Department, and I know it says Hope Mills Police Department right there, and I'll keep covering it up, but actually Police Department is now here. Um, they just built a new building and just got done maybe four or five months ago. So new big police department right there. The rec, uh, home, Hope Mills Rec Center is right there. Hope Mills well, Town Home and here's a rec center. <clears throat> now we don't have a YMCA out here in Hope Mills, I don't believe. Um, if we do, I, I don't know about it. Um, I think they're building building one. Sorry, I don't. My kids are my, my kids grown and um, I'm not going to the YMCA. But um, definitely, if I'm wrong, let me know. Drop a comment below. Let, let me know um, if there is one out here. But a lot of the Hope Mills Rec Center is real great. And, um, and as you see, there's a skate park and awesome. What I like about it is definitely if you are a walker or a runner and you want a track to walk and run on, um, zoom in a little bit more. Here is a track right there. So you see it goes around the whole park. There's the baseball field, it stops right there, cuts back around, all the way right there. There's Golf View Drive. So, passes by the Hope Mills Police Department and the new police department, which is right there. <clears throat> so, I like walking and running on this track. Um, and I think it's, I think it's almost a mile. Don't get me wrong, I'm not sure like how long it is, but it's pretty good. It's a pretty good walk or run. So definitely looking for a track. You know, it's, it's paved too, but if you want, you know, you can of course jog on the grass, probably better on your feet. Um, but you can stay right on track and you're right next to Police Department Hope and um, in the fire department. So definitely it's a safe track. <clears throat> it's definitely a safe area to jog, walk, and run. Um, if that's what you're looking for, the police department and the fire department right there. So if you get injured or something happens to you, they're all right there to help out. So I, I, that's one thing I like about it. And here's, if you're gonna come in and go to the rec center, you can park right here. And then you can go a little farther and park over here in the ball field. And then right here, I believe is the tennis courts or basketball courts, or maybe a little bit of both. So definitely, you know, great that and, you know, great area for the kids. And I want to use, let me change up the view again and kind of zoom in on the park itself. So you see, great program for the kids. You know, if you're looking to take the kids somewhere to check out, um, great little fun place for the kids. I'll show you two more good places for the kiddos and for adults too. Um, is stop button. They've got some old video games in here. Me and my son love going here. And it's not very expensive either. Um, I think it's yeah, I think five or ten dollars. You can stay in there as long as you want. Um, you know, they got bin ball machines. And I saw a ball. My son went up there a couple months back. They had some wrestling trivia. Yes, we are wrestling fans. And um, it was cool to go and bring his friends and him and hang out with him and his buddies. And they got drinks. They got cool drinks. They have like a starch. They have a stormtrooper drink. <laughs> it was kind of a shot. It was kind of cool. Um, things like that. So definitely um, try out stop button. It's it's great for the kids and for the adults. I already talked about Hope Mills Lake. And if you are looking for a Walmart Home Lolo's Home Improvement, it's all right here in Hope Mills, not far at all. Be zoom a little bit better for you. Samuel's Italian Restaurant. Love their food there. Great Italian food if you're looking for a Italian restaurant in Hope Mills and not looking to drive away to Fayetteville. And they've also got another great restaurant. It's not technically in Hope Mills, um, but it's close enough. Right here, Liz's Pizza. So actually, this is considered Hope Mills, but you got Liz's Pizza right here. They've got some great, um, great food here also. So if you're looking for Italian food, um, you don't have to go far. Samuels or Liz's Pizza um, are on my top list. Definitely, I would say, if, if you're looking to stay in Hope Mills or close to Hope Mills, um, for some good Italian food. As I zoom in right here, we've got a pet supply store. So you got a pet a pet place for your kids. You can't see right here is Verizon. And across the street, we've got Taco Bell, Bojangles, all your fast food restaurants right across the street. And then you see, you got an AT&T store and there's also a T-Mobile over here too. So definitely whoever your provider is, 
Verizon's right here, and then you've got AT&T and T-Mobile right across the street. So everything is in Hope Mills. Um, we even have one um, hotel out here. So if you need to stay in Hope Mills for the night, not a problem. Um, our one hotel is right up here. So Holiday Inn Express right there. <clears throat> and if you want some great coffee, you have to try Coleman Roasters. Um, probably my favorite coffee shop in Hope Mills. Um, I love them. They're great. And we do have Starbucks if you're a Starbucks fan. Um, but I like trying with the mom pop places and help them out. Cheers Chick-fil-A. Um, we talk about Samios. Where is that Starbucks? They just built it. It's right in here. Uh, they just built it, so it's not here yet, but here's Jersey Mike's. You got a wing place in here right here too, and you got Starbucks, wing place, Jersey Mike's, and they just built a um, haircut place from over here. Sport, I think it's called Sports Haircut or something, or right over here too. So definitely if Starbucks is your thing, definitely go to Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, like I just mentioned. And even though we have a Walmart here, in Hope Mills, there's another Walmart that's very close by that's actually in um, Fayetteville. I'm gonna try and find it real quick. I'll zoom out a little bit more. <clears throat> but yeah, there it is. So here's the Walmart right off Black and Decker Road. This is considered Fayetteville. Now I live off Legion Road right over here. So I am, you know, we'll, we'll put the distance between both Walmarts, but. Here's, here's one Walmart, here's the other Walmart. And I live right here. So, I'm actually closer to the one in, in Hope Mills, but this one gets a little busy. Um, you know, it's right in the heart of Hope Mills, so everyone's going to it, and you got some people who actually live in Fayetteville who are going to this Walmart. So, sometimes this one out here is not as busy if you need to hit to the big, to the big Walmart for whatever reason. But I like also going to the Walmart shopping, the Walmart grocery store, which is right here, across here from South, but near Southview Middle, Southview High Schools. Those are um, some, some desired high schools that a lot of people like going to. I can't talk about the high schools or any schools in general due to the Fair Housing Act. So I can't talk about those to you, but um, they are desired high schools and so is Grace Creek, which is also considered Hope Mills. But like I said, here's the Walmart and you have a gas station there, so kind of cool. And if you're looking for a fitness place, they've got Fitness for Life right over here. And also right next to the Walmart for where I live, there is a fitness place too. You can't see it, I don't think, um, but it's actually right there. Um, oh yeah, there it is. Anytime Fitness Hope Mills. I believe it's open 24-7. I'm not sure. Nope, closed at 7 p.m. So I was wrong there. But um, small little place. Definitely if you want to if you need to get your workout out. Um, not two, two places that are not too bad. <clears throat> now, I mentioned Grace Creek a little bit earlier. And I want to show you where Grace Creek is at. So some parts of Hope Mills are in Grace Creek. Um, some parts are in actually Fayetteville, but more the rural part of Fayetteville. So if you, if you zoom in here, as you see, well, before we zoom in, here's Cypress Lakes. This is considered Hope Mills. You see here's Grace Creek. Um, it says Grace Creek right here. But here's 87, and that takes you right to the beach if you need to go to the beach. Also, before I can get into that, so if you look ahead to the beach, um, Wilmington's only about an hour and 40 minutes away. Um, if you lived in Fayetteville, it'd be two hours. Not that it's a big difference there, but definitely the commute is a little better living in Hope Mills. We head to the beach, 87, jump on there, boom, you're right at the beach. Not saying that should be your only reason you want to move to Hope Mills is next to the beach. I would definitely say if you like the beach that much, maybe you should live at the beach or a little closer. So here's Grace Creek area and Chickfoot Road, there's 295, across right over. So. Tom Starling, all this area is considered Grace Creek, but this is more Grace Creek in Fayetteville. This area right here is Grace Creek Hope Mills. I know it's confusing. It confuses me sometimes too. I don't understand why they do that that way, but um, that's how some, some cities and counties are, are running together. So <clears throat> people are living in Grace Creek, um, here's Grace Creek High School, um, because it's more of a rural area of Hope Mills. Um, so definitely, if you're living out here, you only 
maybe have a 10 minute drive right into Houghton Mills. Uh, depending where in Grace you're going to live, obviously, the farther you live out, the farther it's going to be. But I would say an average 10 minute drive. <clears throat> People like living out here. Um, it's, it's, like I said, rural. Yeah, I think you have like one or two grocery stores out here, food lines is a grocery store out here. Uh, maybe even only one, but you're not far from the Walmarts. Um, actually, if you lived out here, you'd be closer to the Walmart over here than you would with the one at Hope Mills. So, Grace Creek is, is growing up though. Every time I turn around, they're building a new subdivision out there. So, I only see in the next five or ten years, Grace Creek just growing and growing and growing um, and getting bigger and bigger. So, if you want that rural life, but not too far away from the grocery store or things to do, entertainment, like Hope Mills, um, I would definitely consider Grace Creek. A lot of people like living out. And just a reminder, I am a real estate agent, so if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in the fabled surrounding areas, Hope Mills included, of course, um, reach out to me. Love to help you guys. Um, you know, our team would love to help you. We get phone calls, emails, text messages every day, folks just like you. So, you know, keep the calls coming, emails coming, text messages coming. Love to help you if you have any questions. So as I zoom out, um, let's talk about the hospitals that are nearby. So at Hope Mills, type of Hope Mills right here. Kafir Valley Medical Center. And if you're living in Hope Mills, you're looking at a 14 minute drive to Cape Fear Valley Medical Center. If you go to the VA hospitals, um, we've got two VA hospitals. Um, one that's on Ramsey Street, as you see, that is about a 20 minute drive. And then we've got the other one that's on Rayford Road, maybe a little closer. <clears throat> I don't know why it's not popping up. And here's the other uh, hospital. So they're 23 minutes apart from understand. Um, this one over here closes at a certain time. I believe it closes at midnight. No, I'm sorry, it closes at 4.30. So this is more of a clinic than it is an actual hospital, a very healthcare center. Um, you can go there for issues, of course, um, if I'm correct. But the main one's going to be on Ram Street, which is open 24-7. And, you know, if you're looking at looking at a 19-minute drive. So if, you need, if you're having issues, and well, you should call 911 first of all. But if you can make it there, maybe go to the VA hospital Ram Street. If you're looking 20, 20, 20 minutes, this was 19 minutes. And we've got one more hospital I'm going to show you guys, which is Highsmith Rainey from Hope Mills. You're looking at 17 minutes. So if you need to head to hospitals, they're all very, pretty close by. Um, if you need medical care, and just about all the doctors are on Owen Drive, which is right next to the hospital. So living in Hope Mills, I think it's a great um, place to live. You're close to everything, but far enough from everything to where you're not getting the hustle and bustle like I said of Fayetteville. I live in Fayetteville, not that it's terribly busy in my opinion. If you enjoyed this video, please check this video over here where I talk about some neighborhoods in Hope Mills, North Carolina. And if you think of buying, selling, or investing in the Hope Mills or surrounding areas, please reach out to the team and I. We would love to help you. We get phone calls, emails, text messages every day from folks just like you. We'd love to help you. See you guys in the next video.